You're not gonna get a leash, by the way, on like red or blue. You should solo raptors or wolves. It's the best. Tsunami is like an absolute troll. What 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 is she really doing? Like, what did she accomplish? Because Nocturne is really good at soloing. Plus, when you get level two, your W attack speed is really impactful. Yeah, and she tries to walk back to lane. Good luck on that one. And I always angle my Qs in the direction I'm trying to sip out to. Because of the extra movement speed you're going to get. Yeah, it looks like a ball lane gap. It's easy to get baited into going like an extra point in EM or in Q. It's only good if you're real, like your objectives to only farm. Like here, if my objectives to only farm, then I would put two points into Q and then just path for a full clear. But he'll never win this. Because the second I fight on my Q, I do way too much damage. This is why I say it, like, it's a good beginner champion. Because if someone tries to fight you in your jungle, you just right-click them down. With lethal tempo too, you're just never... You'll never lose that fight. Because the E actually doesn't help you with farming, it's just good for... You're going for a ganks. Yeah, Nocturne counters Rex. That's why I was like playing him a lot. I was like, dude, Rex Side versus Nocturne is such a pain in the ass. Well, I started to get better at the matchup, at, and then I became good at playing into Nocturne. So here you can always ward their jungle. Sometimes you can double ward, but I like to actually one ward in. And then I go for my item. I like Eclipse, by the way. I'm 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 a a believer in the, I think Eclipse Cleaver is super good, but if you guys feel more comfortable going Stride Breaker, that builds fine too. Stride Breaker is good. Fake the W then R the fear. <laughs> yeah, for all those, too bad it's getting removed from the game. So I don't want to I don't want to waste my time on that item. I look like an EDM music producer. Thank you. Uh, I was actually going for that look. DJ Inori. Wait, that actually sounds kind of good. DJ Inori. And my bot lane died. He needs to run to me. Nah, I probably wouldn't do a right arm sleeve. I kind of like having just tattoos on one side. So I'm just gonna take this entire top side because we had that ward earlier. We knew exactly, we knew exactly how his clear was gonna be, right? So if his raptors are up, most likely his krugs are up too. In around five minutes, the crabs, the blast plant spawns. So you can do it. No, I'm not doing any ever face tattoos. I 
I think you would like to fit in. Could fit in. Bring me the horizon or something. Maybe. Alright, who do I kill? I have the most broken ability in the game. I'm ready to go. Hitting my Q like this is bad because it reveals where I am on the map. Killing mid is like a 50-50. Does a Rolling Soul can press, press W and run away from me? I don't think my fear is going to work. Not in time. So here I want to kill Ba, right? Ba lane is the most important lane. But if they're playing really safe, we don't have to force it right away. You can always come back to ball in. Now I just want to see if bot's diveable. I want to take a more of aggressive, like a aggressive position here. Clear their pink. See where Biego is. All that kind of stuff. And just play for a bot dive. I mean, the rel was a sacrifice I was willing to make. Damn, I had no mana, bro. It is pain. That little snake didn't die. This little lizard. This flying lizard. I had red buff. Should've done my red. I've slain the dragon, yet I have been slain. Inori the dragon slayer has died. All hail Britannia. About to... Around this point, it's... It's not bad to switch the sweeper, though. Usually around like level 7. Yeah, I have a tier list for 3.5. It's on my Discord. But I can show you it between games. With this item buy, it's really good because I'm actually able to fight without R as well. Yeah, it's just under the tier category. I'm always, always gotta get the last hit. I think it was boss side, but I'm gonna play for Herald here. You actually get crab? No. Crazy. I mean, I'll take Herald and a 500 gold. Like, like I don't mind. I'll take it all. All oh, that hit me, bro. Ripping, you couldn't. You 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 died one v one to Fiora, and you couldn't get her W. How were you not able to get that W? But that was still pretty good. I mean, obviously that's worth. I've already done so much this game. I've impacted ball and we got the dive. I mean, this viewer is going to get 1v1 by me later. And your ringer is B tier. I mean, ringer, 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 ringer.
Unless you're an actual one trick on him, he's not going to look so good. You need a bunch of games to make Rengar good. And even if you play him really well, a lot of times you end up losing too. See, the problem about raiding one trick junglers is it's really hard. Because the champion's just inflated by one tricks. And when you're not a one trick on it, the champ just loses. So there being no problem. Oh, I'm going, I'm going. I think Viego no flash too. Oh, bro, I got countered by Asumira. Oh, I got countered by that one. I couldn't even deal damage. Blade second? No, I think Cleaver is like the best option. Actually, I actually have to Herald fast. I'm about to lose it. Rest mine's pretty good. Bro, you just walked into Viego and got one shot. Oh, what am I looking at? You have to just back up. All he had to do was back up in the fight. Damn. I hate how Nocturne has mana problems though. After Eclipse, I, it could be good. Uh, we're not going to kill her when she ours. But I, I, I got the job gone. As a one trick. I mean, I think... I actually think Nocturne is a very flexible champion to build on. And Blade is definitely good on Nocturne because all your damage is based off auto attack. But I personally think a John Nocturne needs ability haste to make it work. The more ability haste you have from your items is really good. Is the new skin really that bad? I thought it looked pretty good in the splash. Max is W second for 20% more attack speed. W max second. Mm, I want to kill Relian Soul, but it's kind of missing right now. Oh, do I one shot him under tower? Are we, are we gonna one shot him really under town? No, they're all gonna be here. And we definitely play for dragon. I don't want them to get three dragons. Skins are very subjective. True. Facts. Absolute facts. They might walk in for dragon. And if they walk in, we're gonna kill them. Where's the fish? 
Was der Fisch hier? No, I wasn't expecting Fiora to be there. I don't I don't wanna R because there's like a lot of different ways she could get over that wall. A lot of a lot of ways that would ruin my ult. Here. Plus I'm so close to level 11. If I could just get level 11, and then R is just much better. It, it would be way better for me. And also might be a Kaza here. Bro made me go back for another tap. He actually made me go back for like one more auto. I was committed though. I mean, no way you live there. Nocturne is actually a beautiful champion. I like him. All right, let's look at the Aguin build after this. Oh, his build seems so strange. Does he go blade first? Usually I build like this into like GA or DD depending on the game. Hubbin mm -mm. Evelyn is a good skin. I mean, maybe I don't really think about skins much. I think one person might like it and another person might not. I rather when when it comes to skins, I care more about the visual, like how it affects you. I like skins that aren't that bulky. I'm like super strong right now. I could definitely one shot this guy. Oh shit, Meteor. This is what I was talking about. I, my fear, he could he could technically like break out of my fear. So that part I have to be careful. He could invade me here, but... Common Evelyn looks like your dream girl. Nice. Oh, there's a ward here. Do I cancel my base to clear it? No, I don't. I'm out of here. My favorite, my favorite skin line is the Eternum, the red one on Nocturne too. I use it if I have it. I love those on Rek'Sai. Oh, mm. Anyone can climb out of silver. I, I truly believe anyone can. I think you just have to have like a progress, like a mindset to improve. But like you have to improve in areas that are actually like beneficial. I feel like people tell you too many things you need to get better at. But the things you actually need to get better at are just much more simpler than you'd, you'd think. You need like a, you need direction. You need good direction. You have to be like a good self analyst. I'm a bit now. Yeah, it's easy to play better. It's easy to play worse. Trying to be consistent is the most important thing. 
like knowing which good habits are helping you and which ones are bad that are making you lose. Like if you're able to replace your bad habits with positive good ones, and over time you're just going to see much better improvement. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Well, I did tank it. Bro, he burned me down, man. I was like barbecued by the end of that. Raw mechanics, I mean, you just have to increase your EPM. Like, a lot of you guys, you play so slowly. Like, your movements are so slow. Like, your clicks are so slow. You have to, like, increase your raw... Like ability power. Like, see how I like I always use my function keys to kind of scout around the map. This is just increases increasing like my actual fingers like warming it up, keeping myself ready to make the next click even better. And also like the way you move your champion is important. Like a lot of you players, when you click between things, like you move so far away. Like if I'm trying to go here. For example, like I do like one click, I wait. One click, I wait. But realistically, you should be like clicking like more this. Like keeping your clicks much closer and more uh, frequent. Having like more control of your champion. This is how you would increase your APM and your mechanics. And like do tabs and stuff like that. Zen Zhao, he's okay, but there's like champs that do what Zin Zhao does, but like 10 times better. So it's not worth it. 100% not worth it. Yeah, I get the Teemo emote going. Like it does seem so pointless, right? Spamming. Random buttons, but the idea is like, it's causing your brain to react faster. So you just have to do it. And the whole clicking thing is really important. I see you guys click like two miles per hour, which is just so, so bad. It's just very pointless. See how I cancel between my autos too? <gasps> she let me get away. Never mind. Nori's the best, baby. The most educated. Ooh, I got my maul. I mean, though, I probably didn't need it, but... Might as well buy it. Oh, Derek Rose. Ah, yes. The very OP... 80 carry class in the wild. Watch as she presses R and deletes the entire enemy team. Without any help. Ah, beautifully done. Beautifully done. Yeah, I need a haircut. My hair is too long. I'll probably cut my hair next week.
I mean, this is like a really standard good Nocturne build. 